much to do. Hey guys, so with me being in the first trimester and feeling sick all the time, it's been really hard to keep track of all the chores and keep on top of it. So today I decided to do a clean with me video. So first things first, this kitchen is absolutely disgusting. So I have to put on a mask to avoid the smell because being in your first trimester, if you've done it before, you would know everything makes you want to throw up. But especially peanut butter right now, so that did help me a lot. Doing the dishes is definitely one of my least favorite chores to do, but I love this scrub brush that I got from Target. And it's literally just so nice because I don't have to use my fingers for everything to do it, but it really does help the dishes go by fast and I don't have to touch anything. So when the dishes are done, the sink will look like this. I find it really gross, people who just leave that around. So I always, always spray as much as I can down the drain, turn on the disposal, and then I get a paper towel and just kind of clean up all the food that was stuck or that's just really grimy on there before I clean it. I've been using this Everspring all-purpose cleaner. This is a natural cleaner. It smells really, really good. And I'll just spray and sanitize the whole entire sink. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'll wipe it down with a rag. I'm a firm believer of cleaning all around the sink and everywhere that you can, moving things around because then if you don't, then you collect food and dust. And I personally believe that can make your kitchen smell worse. Quick little intermission. I needed a mint to help me with my nausea. Stove tops always get so grimy and gross. And so honestly with this one, you have to clean it in a very specific way. You have to make sure you only clean it with water. And then I'm using this specific cleaner for this glass top to really scrub off the extra stain so it looks nice. Table isn't something that I have to clean super thoroughly, though I do like to make sure I clean some spray and also all around the chairs as that's where your bums sit. I try to sweep the floor every single meal that I can, but I don't mop the floor every meal. I only mop the floor once a day. I do feel like it needs to be done thoroughly, but because I don't have kids, I feel like once a day was fine for us. Kitchens are so, so important. I always make sure that I never go to bed with a sink full of dishes if I possibly can. I always try to make sure all the countertops are clean and there's no grime on it. Because if you just leave food sitting around, that's how your house and your just kitchen starts to smell gross. And to me, smell is everything. And as you can see, the sink is super clean and shiny as well. And then I have a little diffuser that I like to put some scent in as well, which just really helps make the house smell clean. Moving on to our living room, it's still a working progress. We don't have our couches or a piano yet. We got this TV stand from Wayfair and honestly, I love this TV stand. It's not high maintenance at all. You can't tell when it gets dusty. So just having it light clean once a week is key for that desk. And then again, since this area is not really finished, I just try to make it look as presentable and nice as possible and not like we've just been laying around and bumming on it. Next is our bedroom. Now, because I have been feeling so sick, this is so embarrassingly bad. I got a throw up bowl on the floor just in case and just piles of laundry and just a lot of junk that I need to throw away. I highly recommend bed comforters. It is one of the easiest ways to make a bed and make it look nice. And honestly, they're not super heavy either. So if that's a big bonus as well. Typically when I do laundry, I try to wash all my batches of laundry in one day and then I just fold all of it at once because if I don't and I fold laundry after each batch is dry, I feel like I'm doing laundry all day. Another tip that somebody showed me when I was nanning over the past summer is to roll your laundry instead of fold it. That way it's a lot easier to see what you have in your drawers and it's a lot easier to keep organized as well and honestly guys, has done miracles for me. When I clean the bathroom, I make sure I use chemicals that are a lot stronger. So I usually use a bleach on the bathroom because I feel like that's one of those areas where you just really need a lot of extra sanitation and really need it to disinfect. I feel like a lot of natural cleaners just don't do the trick. And so especially with the toilet, you want to make sure you clean all around the bowl, all over around the toilet seat, bowl top and bottom. And then I use a napkin, paper towel, or toilet paper to get rid of all the hair. And then I go through with a wipe again with Clorox spray, and I wipe it down and clean everything. So on the bottom of the bathtub connected to the shower, it always collects so much hair and honestly is so gross. So I make sure I definitely touch that point that I feel like a lot of people miss. And inside the bathtub too, I always grab a 
paper towel or toilet paper and just clean all the extra hair. Make sure it is dry and not damp. I try to take out the trash in the bathroom at least once or twice a week because that can really start to smell and make your bathroom feel a lot more gross as well. Last but not least is vacuuming the house. So I only have carpet on the upstairs, so I really make sure I target the areas that do have carpet. But that is all for today's cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some of these tips helpful. There is nothing better than coming home or just living in a clean environment that smells good. So now is the time to relax and read a book and enjoy your hard work. Thanks so much for guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.